Welcome Aries, it's uh, September 2012 and uh, this is your monthly horoscope. I'm Dedici from astrology.com.au. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, for those of you that are new, we just have a brief uh, overview of the uh, transits uh, based upon the solar position, <coughs> that is the sun in Aries, and uh, look at what's happening to you. Lots and lots of aspects. I normally just touch on the main things here. Um, significant on the first and the second of the month as the month starts off is the uh, transit of uh, Mercury into your zone of work, uh, routine, day-to-day -day activities, but also your health. And uh, there could be something confusing about that because on the second we see the aspect of Mercury to, to Neptune. So that can throw things into a bit of confusion and you've also got the Moon over there next to Neptune as well, um, which represents your home life, your mother, your inner peace of mind. When that's associated with Neptune and Mercury is associated with Neptune, the month is probably not going to get off to a great start. There can be some confusing issues around your work. That's going to last about a month, uh, the, the Mercury in the sixth house. Not necessarily that confusion for the whole of the month, but you need to get your, uh, your game plan in order early in, uh, earlier on in the piece so that you can uh, enjoy a rather uh, stress-free period for the rest of the month. Uh, we see here Venus is at the right angle to uh, Saturn on the 3rd. Then we have, uh, well, that's not so great for your relationships. Venus is your marital planet for those of you that are married. Uh, and with Venus in the zone of uh, domesticity, then we see that that whole uh, family thing is uh, being affected by these confusing and uh, challenging aspects. Venus, incidentally, is in your zone of uh, uh, domestic affairs. And this shows that if you're married, that uh, partner of yours may be focused very much on these areas, maybe making some demands on you. Uh, the Saturn-Venus aspect is often very cool in its, in its response. Some of the other important aspects here, um, I should give you some good news, I guess. Uh, the good aspects here, for example, uh, if we take a look at the um, moon in the trine aspect to Mars, which occurs uh, around the 11th of September. That's pretty good. They're friendly planets to you uh, with the issues of uh, your real estate, your home, also education. According to Hindu astrology, the moon is uh, representing your education as well to some extent. There's some good stuff going on there. Mars is in your zone of uh, shared resources, so financial matters, bank loans, that sort of thing. If you're looking at restructuring your finances, that's not bad, particularly for those of you that have a mortgage or uh, struggling a little bit with your rent and that sort of thing. Budgeting is very, very important. I like to position a moon in the fifth house on the 12th. Great for love affairs at that particular point in time. I'm just looking down the list here for you. Um, a lot of hard aspects here. I'm trying to get a nice, a nice hit that's a positive one for you. A lot of them are pretty tough this one. So on aggregate, I don't like to see too many hard aspects here. And here, unfortunately, most of them are, are, are pretty tough. Uh, particularly from Mercury, this this uh, planet that I mentioned in your zone of uh, work, etc. But it does make a transition on the 17th of September, moving rather quick. Although I said for the rest of the month, you'll see a, a very distinct shift in your energies from work-related matters, health, to relationships, communication, public relations, just people in general. So take a note of that date around 17th, 18th. There'll be a quick shift and uh, that will continue for... Uh, a few weeks as well. I see the very passionate aspect of Venus and Mars taking place uh, from your fifth house to the eighth house. Love affairs, sexuality, there on the 27th of September. So this could be a rather rash moment where your primal instincts take over. You need to be careful of that so that you don't um, do anything silly, anything that you regret. Take your time if you're looking to uh, foster new relationships. There's no rush to get across the finishing line. Take your time and enjoy the month. The last three aspects are a little bit, uh, I could say stressful, but it's interesting. The moon uh, makes a, a conjunction to Uranus. Uh, it also uh, moves to the right angle of Pluto and the opposition of the sun. That's obviously a full moon right on the last day of the month. That's rather intense for you. Pluto's in your, your professional sector. And, of course, Uranus is in your sun sign at the moment. So this could be tense energies where you do things a little bit uh, uh, on 
the spur of the moment. Be careful of that because when we have hard aspects, that indicates that the outcome may not be all that you expect. If you're looking for more, uh, till next month, uh, join me at astrology.com.au. We have daily and uh, additional monthly readings there which are actually typed up, uh, textual, so you can read a little bit more. Free psychic readings and of course if you need to talk to me, I'm always available. Look forward to your company there at www.astrology.com.au. Till next month, bye for now.